that I will not partake in anything that makes me a slave. Time is running out. When does a man truly recognize the consequence of his inaction? Or fundamentally, when it's too late? I want you to really think about this next thing I'm about to say, that the price of your inaction is the most expensive thing that you are paying for right now. In the history of your life, nothing is more priceless than the information you have now that you could have given yourself five years ago. And even more expensive than that is the action you've taken now that you didn't take five years ago. I wanna talk in this video about the parts of you that you haven't yet been able to access, that there are parts of your DNA that you haven't quite broken into and allowed to light up your very being. And I believe that that potential lies in your ability to discipline yourself against the war of lust in this modern world. So I want to take you on a, a journey today from somebody that really understands the compounding benefits and effects that one will certainly reap when he begins to discipline his mind, observe his emotions and transcend the carnality of his very flesh. And this post is aptly coined potentiality. I have been practicing SR for a while now, maybe for the past three years now, on and off. I don't really count the days anymore. And I wanted to give you my initial perspective on my experience at the beginning of my journey, as I hope it may assist you. If one is struggling, or if one is stuck in the cycle of one, two, four days, they are struggling to gain a foothold. Here they offer you a mental system that they have adopted, which will completely shatter that internal struggle. And with it, your needs, your craving, your desire, that feeling of wanting and never having. And the premise is this. You must think of your age now, the current stage in your life the people around you, your loved ones, your aspiration for the future and your life in general. But most significantly here, the potential time you have wasted. You must think to yourself of who you could have been if you did not go down this path of lust, how glorious life would be, how pure. And you must be completely honest with yourself here and not hide or dismiss the truth of what has occurred. This video is a mirror for you to reflect, an active journal as it were. Do not circumvent the emotions of shame and guilt. They are necessary. They are necessary for you to feel the pain. It is painful, it is fearful, but you know as well as I do, fear and pain are the uh, catalyst for growth like nothing else in this world is. Survival is a potent motivator. In the beginning of my journey, honesty was paramount. You have wasted energy. How much time has passed? How much potential has passed? He raises a fair point here. It's not just energy you're wasting, but you're wasting time. When are you going to wake up and realize that time stops for no man? Now it is with this, you must give yourself an ultimatum. There is no alternative here. You must understand that if nothing is to change, you will eventually die old, weak, and addicted to this. And that is that is death before it has even physically happened. For there are many men alive, but I've seen the lights leave their eyes. They are akin to empty vessels, zombies, blundering, bumping into walls. There is, there is no soul there. For no change came about and your potential self and life was never realized. What do you really think? You'll just wake up and begin a life anew? No, pornography has declared a war on you. You have no choice but to fight. You must win. There is no alternative here. It is once you begin this journey and once you begin to gain a foothold for this journey to what I found is like compounding interest. I can, I cannot tell you the benefits or how reality becomes, but over time in my case, if you just wait to maintain this mental view of the tide will eventually fall in your favor. You will gain energy, a momentum, and over time, it will be an energy that is so potent, it will require an outlet. You will become stronger, wiser, and eventually yourself as a life intended and begin to vibrate on a completely different level. This is raising up David Hawkinson's scale. And he draws a beautiful analogy here between SR and the compounding effect. The green line representing your journey alongside time and the blue if is 
you do nothing if you continue to stew in apathy. Take a good, hard look. Quantify that for you. What does your next five years look like if you do nothing? Some of you will stay in the same place. Some of you maybe even fall backwards. A very few, many of you whose soul and will are strong, you will compound and you will bask in the light of freedom, of divine. The talk of magnetism is true. Synchronicity is true. Opportunities are true. You essentially become a force of nature. It is with this newfound concept of compound interest, the reality you dreamed of, the individual you dreamed of, of becoming, which was once so distant will naturally, through time, will occur. You will not believe it, but as it is with this energy or any energy, people, women will desire it, will want it, they will desire you. Too many of you are trying to rationalize yourself out of this practice. You are trying to cope. I'm going to give you some serious, serious insight here. Even if these things were not true, even if they were a placebo or a figment of my imagination, I would still do this. And the reason why is my vision is so distilled of the individual that I want to become that I will not partake in anything that makes me a slave. I will not entertain for a moment anything that would have me disrespect myself. I would not break to the social narrative that this is what most men do because I am not most men. And you certainly do not want to be most men either. Most men have tits. Now, if we're being objective here, that is true. Are you content with most men? Are you content with mediocrity? Mediocrity is a torturous existence in this world. I will not tolerate it for a second, neither should you. There have been many times where I have had longer streaks. Used this frame of mind and escaped, breaking free from the clutches of adult material only to find myself releasing with a woman on a night out. There and then, a one night stand whom with somebody I have only just met or even multiple. In my experience, once you go past a certain point, the energy you mass becomes so potent that you literally just stand at a bar and women will flock to your presence like magnets. Do you really think the same event occurs if you would be constantly emptying yourself of this kind of energy? Do not fall prey to your ego here or you will fall prey to the same fate that has our friend. But it is with this instant regret that I couldn't maintain control. I gave my energy away so cheaply. It's like the fall of Icarus. You fall back down to earth. And once again, you must start your journey anew. This is a regret of mine, but let me say this. Once you have overcome the initial barrier of one to two weeks, your reality will change. The energy you will invariably possess will become harnessed for it requires an outlet. This is where Sexual transmutation comes into play like a compound interest. Your reality will compound. It is not enough to have the money. Where are you investing it? So it is with this, this potential that you do not succumb to instant gratification or temptation, even if it is on a platter from you. It is a test from the universe. Has he learned his lesson? You must win this fight. And like Charles Bukowski once said, if you are going to try, go all the way. Otherwise, don't even start. This is a lifestyle. One last thought is with this, who would you become? What would your life be like? How different would it be if you won? I am humble enough to concede that I don't know a lot in this life, but I do know one thing. I know the strongest version of you is not a slave to lust. I know the strongest version of you commands himself. These are not theories. These are facts. Speak soon.